Hi guys, welcome back to OCD Recovery's YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to do a video today about binge eating. Um, so this is something that I have struggled with, I'd say most of my life, um, but particularly since struggling badly with OCD. Um, and I know it's something that a couple of people in the groups are struggling with at the moment as well. So I thought it'd be a good time to talk about it. Um, so for me, binge eating, the reason I did it is it, like any compulsion, it relieved a feeling, um, a feeling that I didn't want to have. So it was usually in the evenings for me. Um, and I would sit there and I would just feel empty, just, just sad. Like I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to make myself feel better. Um, so for me, binging was particularly with foods like chocolate. Um, and I, I would almost go into like a frenzy. Like I wouldn't feel like I was in control of what I was doing. Um, in the sense that I could just eat and eat and eat and eat and I never felt full. Um, and that's because I wasn't eating through hunger. And like, I wasn't even hungry when I started doing it. Um, and guaranteed every time by the end of it I would just feel so much worse because I had put on so much weight at the time um partially through medication I was on a medication that really increases your appetite and like all compulsions it became a way of relieving a feeling um although looking back on it I can't really see what it was doing to make me feel better I think it literally made me feel better whilst I was eating and that was it like with compulsion, sometimes you feel better for like a short period afterwards, but there was absolutely none of that with the binging. It was literally, it, it happened. At the time I felt good, at the time it was like, this is really nice. The, you know, the I love food. Everyone loves food. Um, you know, eating nice food does make you feel good in the moment. Um, and I think that's what it was. It was just a really short term, like high to, to make me feel ever so even if it was one percent better one percent better was just it, it was it was any anything would have would have made me happier than i was um and yeah the the binging was really really hard to get out of so i had to treat it like every other compulsion um because initially I thought it was a separate issue. I thought this is a binge eating disorder, you know, maybe that needs to be dealt with separately. Um, but as I found whilst going along the recovery journey, a lot of things that we think are, are separate, you know, well, actually I'm feeling angry because of this, or I've got this disorder on top of it, which makes it harder. You can actually treat it all the same. Like REBT gets under everything unconditional life self and other acceptance helps in so many other ways than just with the OCD suffering I say just like OCD suffering is a small thing but I mean it can be used with so many other things as well um so even if the binge eating wasn't a compulsion which I fell into the trap of trying to work out if it was a compulsion which we always do that's that's quite a standard is this OCD? Do I need to treat it like OCD? The thing is, you don't need to treat anything like OCD. You just need to treat it like, this is a problem for me. What can I do to resolve it? And there's nothing I've found so far that's cropped up in life since going through the OCD recovery process that unconditional life self and other acceptance hasn't applied to or hasn't been able to help with. Um, so once I started treating the binge eating like a compulsion, um, I started using the same methods that I'd used to get over other compulsions. So initially delaying, delaying's always been my first port of call. Um, again, delaying has to start really, really small <laughs> because it is it is really hard to crack. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there are instances where people have just been able to stop themselves from performing compulsions and just never do them again, um, you know, with some kind of willpower that the majority of us, of us will just never never have. Uh, but for me, I had to do it really slowly. So I would say, if I still really want to eat something in five minutes, then I'm going to eat something. Or I would go, I'm not going to have anything to eat. I'm going to have a cup of tea first and see if that kind of satisfies me. Um, and I did really have to white knuckle it a lot of the time and just sit there and think, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to eat. Like, 
I or, all I'm gonna do is make myself feel worse. Like it never makes me feel better. It makes me feel better whilst I'm eating and then I feel worse. Um, not to mention all of the um, side effects that come from binge eating. So the weight gain, the bad skin, the health problems, the low energy, the mood swings, like that. there's so many reasons to stop that one physically as well. Um, and yeah, I, re I really struggled because I did gain so much weight whilst I was doing it and I just couldn't seem to get myself out of it because it was the only thing that was giving me that short-term relief. As compulsions always are for us, they're, they're that one thing that we think is helping us in the moment and that's why they're so hard to give up because anything that makes you feel better when you're suffering with OCD surely has to be a good thing. But once you kind of start to come out of that and look at it rationally, you, you just realise you see it for what it is and how damaging that behaviour was. Um, so yeah, I, I think delaying in the first instance is probably the best way to go about it. Um, also looking at the reasons, of course, why you're binge eating, um, looking at the fears that you've got that you're trying to escape from. Um, for me, binge eating, as I say, it was a relief. It was just to make me feel slightly better in the moment. But once I started to work on my beliefs about the other things that I was dealing with, about the actual fears that I had with OCD, I didn't need to use things like binge eating as much. Um, obviously, I was cutting the compulsions separately anyway, but whilst also working on the beliefs and making my fears come down with other things, in turn, by feeling better with OCD, my life was improving and by my life improving, I didn't feel the need to binge eat so much because I was doing it to make myself feel better because of how bad I felt. But once I wasn't feeling so bad, I didn't feel the need to use binge eating as much. That's why we say a lot that it's really important to do these things, but without that expectation there of it making you better because it's a side effect of doing the work. You're, you're, once you do all the work and really stick to it, really be consistent with it, changing your beliefs is going to improve your life in 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 a lot of ways. Um, yeah, you don't want to bet on that because then you start desperately going, do I feel better? Do I do, do I feel better? And as we know, OCD loves to cling to that and say, no, you're not feeling better. Why, why would you think that you would feel better? Um, but just by doing these things consistently and not expecting to see any difference in the short term, you will eventually start to manage these things better because th there's no way to become more rational and to not in turn find things more manageable. That That is the definition of being more rational is, is being able to manage things better because you're looking at it from a much better perspective. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps anyone struggling with binge eating at the moment. And if there's any other topics that you can think of that you'd like me to cover, just pop a comment below and I will add it to my list. Thank you.